All right, as I was figuring out, how am I gonna get this in? We thought we might do a bag. So, you know me, I turn all my Ziplocs inside out. We're gonna aim for this corner. Actually, let me get a giant spoon. All right. A giant spoon, not a teaspoon. Oops, something hit the table. If this works, we can leave it in the bag, put it in the fridge, and then figure out where we're gonna stick it in tomorrow night. Or tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow night. That's when we're feeding people. Someone I know is very impressed with my cooking skills. So I'm having it, two people over tomorrow night to indulge in culinary excellence. This is not a cooking channel like you see on TV. This is what I eat for dinner. I'm not trying to impress anybody. Just trying to do something different. All right, there, we got it all into the bag. Now, look at the width. So we're gonna cut. That looks about good. Ooh, we're done. Into the sink this goes. Now, while I was doing what I was doing, let's get as much air out. Don't need this. Clean the table up. It's all about aesthetics. That's why we made this tonight. Look how colorful that is. All right. Move it. And we're hoping that I can use this like a pastry bag. big enough too small we definitely have to make that hole bigger get that scissor again now it's got food on it I gotta clean it all right hopefully that's big enough Give it another shake. Give it a twist. All right, it's time to rock and roll. Oh yeah, it's working. Perfect. All you chefs out there are loving me right now. How do you do this? This is exactly how. Look, I'm squeezing. Okay. This is a tool. And it works. I'm modifying. I love this tool for beating eggs. I've never used it once, but I'm now using the opposite end. <laughs> Look how well it pushes down. Very sticky, though. Actually, hold, pause for the cause. We need something. All right, Houston, we had a problem. Mill strength, not thick enough. I blew out my bag. So, we got to transfer to a double bagger, baby. Do 
double bagging it. Yep. Hopefully now I will not mess it up. All right. Pause for the cause. All right. Just finished taking care of one problem. Let's get the air out of the first bag. Now the second bag, see what I did there? Everything's on one side. Hopefully this time we don't have a problem. Get out as much air as we possibly can. Time for the scissor. Oops, should have left that on. to do is fill. Actually, we didn't do a good job. Trim that. Bag in a bag. All right. Filling jalapenos. Note to self, need real pastry bag. That would have been so much easier with a real pastry bag. I know a place. I'm going there tomorrow. Give it a pause for the cause. First time in my life I needed a pastry bag. Now we're going to shove it in. Jalapeno. This is so much fun. Doing something that no one has ever done before. And then putting it on YouTube saying, hey, here it is. All right, see how we have all that excess right here? We're gonna use one of these babies. To fill it up. Just like the mushrooms, bam, that's our first one done. I'm so glad I had this. I've never used this once. And then who would think that I would need it to shove filling into a jalapeno? Almost done. This tool works excellent on the flip side. All right, quick pause for the cause. All right, we're almost done. 
one more squeeze. There you go. I stuffed my jalapenos. Let's put a little more there. First time ever. That's why you come to my channel. One more there. And we'll stand this up and let it cook just like that. Heaven on earth, baby. Stuff jalapenos. Love you.